Mr. Lang, you and your mother, Ms. Lang, have been waiting in agony to find out if you're indeed the biological father of your little daughter, Janelle. Now, although you have serious doubt, Mr. Lang, you want nothing more than for this child to be yours. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Now, Ms. Brown, you and your mother are also here today claiming there's absolutely no other possible father for your baby except Mr. Lang. And furthermore, you argue that neither of you can understand why the Langs are so distraught today because they haven't bothered to see the child in months. Oh. Yes, you Now, Ms. Lang, I'm gonna start with you. Why are you so certain this child isn't your son's? Because I found out that Miss Brown slept with my son's best friend oh. from the sandbox best friend. And uh, I don't think she know whether it's my son's or Mr. Dixon's. Oh, really? Is yes. that true? No, Ms. that's Brown? not true, Your Honor. I've never slept with Mr. Dixon. Mr. Dixon and Mr. Lang have been not friends for a while. They've been going at it, trying to fight each other, trying to find each other. Okay, so you're saying her assertion isn't true? Y no, it's not true. All right, so take me back. Ms. Brown, what is your account of how this relationship began and then later... Okay. We was on and off for two years because he cheated on me every other day. I, I find out about more than 50, 100 girls, I promise you. I went, 50, 100. I went, I went, I went, girl, I went back and forth no with house. so many girls, <laughs> right. and it was in her house. She didn't lie about him, she didn't lie for him, and then I find out she's lying for girl, him. Please. Girl, why don't I tell you the like, truth? It's my son. Not okay, I don't knock you for that. Your mother lied for you, girlfriend. No, I don't have off. no reason to lie for her. Knock it off. I don't have no reason to lie the for only her. Got a reason you got okay, one let's now. get some more. Let's get some more. I want to understand this. You were together. He was doing his cheating. Were you sleeping with anybody else? No. As well? Not no. that we know of, Your Honor. And it's none of your business. Everything on the list. My business. No, anyway, it's none of your business. It's Are you in the bed with him? This Are you in the bed with him? I don't need to get in the bed with him. Can I tell you? 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 I know my son the way you do, little girl. All right. All right. I know my son. Let's do you let's... really? Unlike you, you know your daughter, boo. Oh, no. Let's I know my daughter. Oh, Apparently, you don't. You, what no. you need to do is Who pop your out his mouth and let him let grow out. Who the pappy? Who the pappy? Whatever. Who the pappy? Whatever. Who the pappy? My daughter. Lee, your son. My your daughter, son. Mr. Lane. Mr. Lane. Okay, Lane. Mr. 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 L
Ms. Brown, do you have any idea why another man, Mr. Dixon in particular, would say he's the father? No, Your Honor. And I've never slept with him. Me and him was not even cool. When we even seen each other, we wouldn't say nothing to each other. We'd just look at each other. When we were cool, it was never like that. It was always a group of friends. So why would he do that? Because, I, like I said before, they were enemies. He was trying to make Mr. Lang mad. Okay, we're finna what fight, we're finna about do this. When you guys were arguing in the kitchen, this is when you were showing. And there was no doubt she's my grandbaby. No doubt was I was happy. And I said, what's going on in here? What are you arguing about? But he said, she has sex with my best friend. Ooh. That's when that the lie became planted. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And so you're saying she had sex with his best friend during the time she was pregnant or before? She was... Around when she got pregnant. Up until this point, you were supportive. You thought you had a grandchild sure coming. Did. You were excited, yes, ready I to was. be a grandmother. So in that moment, you said... Wait a minute. You know, the city of doubt was planted. <laughs> but I still told my son, don't be mean to her, don't be anything to her. I said, because you went there. You went there. So you cannot say it's not your child. Ms. Brown, you did or did not sleep with this best I friend? I did not. Okay. And I am very sure that this is his baby, and we spoke about it. I haven't slept together with no one else, and exactly that time is around the exact time I got pregnant. You say that's your that window in, of conception? Yes, that was in middle August, end of August. And so now the baby's born? Yes. Mr. Lang was there when yes. the baby was born? Yes, he was there and the so whole time. You signed the birth certificate? Yes, yes. he did. You did? Yes, Cut the umbilical right cord. All right, Jerome, let me see that evidence. We both, we both held Miss Brown's legs back while she was pushing the baby out. My so you all were side. there and cooperating? On the other side. Yes, and yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, we was there. she was only there. Like she said, I'm just here to see if this is my baby. No, when this baby... Lying, no, hold girl. on, I'm talking. I when this grandbaby is born, like uh, I'll be able to look at it and tell. That's the only reason she was there, to see for myself. Because once this baby comes okay. out, I'll be able to tell if this is my grandbaby. <laughs> okay. That's what she said. Okay, so and now, Mr. Lang, know, Mr. Lang, you, you're there, you cut the umbilical cord, you signed the birth certificate. Mm -hmm. When you looked at this baby, did you think the baby was yours? He thought yes. it was his, and I interject right there. He thought yes, it was his. She looked like him to me, too, right there. I said, oh, look at her, get your baby, woo woo woo, and all that. <laughs> and then he pulled the hat off. He said, Mama, what's up with this hairline? That is his daddy hairline. Stop playing. Girl, please. That's what I said, too. That's what I said, too. But his daddy is 51 years old. But anyway, so he put it, pulled it back. I said, Jimmy, let that go. The baby's just born. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's going to grow some hair in. Just, just knock it off. Because Just he, don't do that. He felt like it wasn't his hairline. Right. So you still had doubts when the baby was first born. You had a doubt. Did you, a Mr. Lang? A doubt. You did? A. Excuse me, Honor. It's Facebook posts of him talking about, oh, this is my baby. Why? Oh, she has, he has pictures that he's posted of them together. Right. Oh, he loves you her. can't doubt that this is my baby. He loves her. Like, he has a lot of pictures no saying doubt. that. So there was no doubt after the baby was born. He loves Jerome, her. Jerome, let me see that evidence. So. Oh, he loves the baby, no doubt. Ms. Brown, now your mother said she thought she was only there to figure out if the baby look like them or not. I don't, I don't really care about his mother. It's about me and him. Oh, look. <laughs> I would like to think so, but in this courtroom, we call it the way we see it. It should be about you two. Mm -hmm. But I hate to break it to you, baby. You all got a lot going on in your midst. Yeah, we do, we do. Because yes. the whole time, the whole two years we was in a relationship, every time we'd be on Facebook arguing anything, his mom would get on Facebook, on her post, Show and start her. getting into it every single time. Now, now, Ms. Lane, now what? Now what? Now, so what? are you arguing you, with you kids the on the John Facebook? Yes, yes, she was. Oh, no, honey, I didn't get no child that after you told Yes, me. I did that quit my job me. to raise my grandbaby. But that was then. Why? I, I have two jobs now. Have. So this evidence yeah, here, oh, places. these, okay, hold on. I'm looking at some evidence now. I'm looking at the evidence that was presented. These are posts. Oh, it says, say we don't look alike, laugh out loud, boy, that's all me. Right. That's you posting about the baby, that's right? right. I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, no I, wouldn't, I wouldn't post anything about, I don't know if this is my baby or this and that. Mm -mm. I've been there the whole time. What does pregnant. say, say we don't look alike mean? It's for the Facebook it, 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 people, just something they It do. was people that said we didn't look alike. 
So you were addressing claims made by people that the baby didn't look like you. Yes. And then on another post, you say, yeah, that's my baby. That's right. So you're saying, no, this baby does look like me. Yes. But you also telling me in this courtroom that you had doubts. Yes. So what you were really doing on Facebook was just talking. You can say that. Okay. And so even when you had a doubt deep down inside, you were defending this beautiful baby on Facebook saying, this baby is mine. Yes, ma'am. Okay, while he was doing all that and he's saying he loved her, why haven't he seen her in months? You wouldn't let me? Why right. every time I text him and say, come me. get used to her, because when, no, com when you, you come and get her, me. she screams and cries like she don't know you, like she's screaming bloody murder. I text him. I don't text you. Dramatic. Ooh, bloody murder. I have Facebook messages. I don't... Every time me and him would have an argument about him cheating, his mother would get into it, either try to argue with me or try to lie for her son, which she can, I don't doubt, but don't be in my face telling me a lie. Just go, go away with your son. Like, don't get on Facebook talking mess. She'll get on Facebook, oh, that giraffe, I don't like her. Like, girl, like, I don't know, I can't explain it. She would always get into it. She, she called you a giraffe. Never. You have it? Okay, I think we can go back into Facebook messages. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I hold on. I've heard that. Facebook now, I want to come to you. Uh, Ms. <laughs> Ms. Lang, I want to come to you because I want to hear your side of this. Okay. Are you on Facebook with the kids arguing? No. Yes. <laughs> She's going back two years ago, Your Honor. When so you did it? Got... Yeah, I did it. I okay, but you just that. lied to the judge and say you didn't girl, do it. Girl, knock it off. Anyway, back maybe two years ago, two, when they first got started together, she always thought I was saying things to him against her, but I wasn't. I was always for her. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you talking to her? Aren't you with, aren't you with Chanel? I'm always for her, but she Were never knew that. Were you on Facebook arguing with young people? Was arguing, leaving just comments. Her right. You what, what was she doing? It wasn't stating arguing, my opinion. Just stating her opinion. Uh, no stating her opinion with, in yeah. the comments. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Honor, it was a time that she... What was this opinion you were stating? I don't even know. It was so long ago. I couldn't she tell you. So it was so years. many... It was so many opinions mm -hmm. and so many long times ago <laughs> and so many inboxes, and so, I couldn't even so, tell you. Okay, what I'm trying to understand, and I, I, I'm, I'm not really getting it, because you said at first you were for her. You right. were telling your son what he should do and get it right and right. be adult and... Mm -hmm. right. What happened that changed your mind? Because it just That's doesn't seem true. like you like the young girl this much, but I'm not understanding why. In the beginning, when I thought she was pregnant with my granddaughter, I had no doubt what. So the tables turned once you had that doubt. Right. And you got the doubt from the kitchen conversation. Right. About her sleeping with the best friend. Right. right. Then you got angry and you decided you didn't care for her. Well... Not as much as I did at first, but, she, but, 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 but I cared for her still. Okay. I mean, I still okay, made sure my Okay, what about Ms. Collier, what do you have to add? Okay, there's two things. I offered to pay for a DNA test. Mm -hmm. When all this mess was coming up, <laughs> she would talk mess behind my back about the baby but not being Mr. Langs. But when I confronted her, she said she never said it. I did. But when we got into an argument, that's when the topic of the baby not being theirs came up. I offered to pay for a DNA test. But After that, she never said another no. thing me to me about it. it. Don't sit there and put no lies in my mouth. Okay, let's calm you. down. And you didn't say nothing. Let's calm down. You didn't say nothing. Ladies, Don't sit there. Ladies, no, I'm not going to listen here and ladies. allow her to lie on me but like no, that. that. It wasn't no mention of nobody else. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Excuse me. I'm trying to remain calm <laughs> because I know it, there's a lot at stake here. Mm -hmm. And you're two passionate mothers mm -hmm. who love your children. But at this time, I think the only way we're going to be able to move forward is to get the results. Thank you. Thank you. Um, give me the envelope before they set me off. <laughs> then we're going to all be up in here. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Lang versus Brown, when it comes to one-year-old baby Janelle, Mr. Lang, you are the father. You 
are not oh. the father. Are you serious? Man, we have that okay. kind of language in this courtroom. That's a lie. Oh that my is a God. lie. <laughs> I swear that's a lie. The DNA doesn't oh, lie, God, sweetie. Baby. Oh, okay, so the no, DNA doesn't no, lie. No. Oh no. <laughs> Mr. Lang, oh, sit down. I bet sit that's down. it. <laughs> it's over. Oh, my God. Oh my God. You're gonna have to come back with another name. I can't. I'm gonna have you guys come back in so we can finish it. We just wanna, we just wanna finish it. Come on back in. Finish it. Well, the judge wants to talk to you a little bit, okay? It's okay. I could tell that that was not the result you were expecting. And yet, I have to ask you if Mr. Lang is not the father, who is baby Janelle's father? It's a lie. I know he is. <laughs> No, it's not Mr. Lang. <laughs> Sweetheart, the science, the DNA, it doesn't lie. I don't want to talk about this no more. Okay. So you do know, but you just don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. All right. I think she's given her answer. Ms. Williams, you are furious that your husband, Lee, ignores your miracle baby, Wyatt, and denies he is the father. You admit you made mistakes in the past, but you plan to prove paternity today in hopes of saving your marriage. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson, you state you know your wife cheated on you around the time of conception, and you are convinced you did not father 23-month-old Wyatt. You say when today's DNA results come back negative, the marriage is over. Yes, Your Honor. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Williams, what are you here to prove today in court? Technically, I'm here to prove to my husband, whom I've been married to almost three years, that our son is his which is something I shouldn't have to do, but it's to please him and his family. And I'm so sick of them, that's the reason why we're here. Because he's following behind his family and not his wife. I'm his wife. I'm there for him 24-7, not them. So for him to sit up there and choose them over me... And this denial is... is it is making you emotional it's... and getting you completely unhinged. I can see. I mean, it's really to the point where I, I, I'm, I'm holding myself together because I don't need to be in nobody's jail. <laughs> no, you don't. How does this affect Wyatt? Wyatt calls Lee by his name. Wyatt doesn't call him dad. He doesn't hold him. He doesn't change no diapers. He don't buy diapers. My mom helped me buy diapers for Wyatt. Wait, like... the baby calls Mr. Jackson by his first name? Yes, he calls him Lee. Why does he call you Lee? Yes, Your Honor, I don't know why, but that's what you've been calling me, so that's why I think that's not my child. No, it's the way you treat him. You treat my older kids like they're yours versus Wyatt. I treat them awesome, like he's mine. He treats them better than he treats Wyatt, yes, the new baby. Yes, ma'am. Me and, me and Mr. Jackson been in a relationship for almost eight years, and... Look at that. But you want to say... And no, it's not other child, but you want to say they're not yours. Like, come on. We... This hurts. I'm sorry. And it hurts you because... Because before that was Wyatt, we had two other children that we lost, two other daughters that we lost before Wyatt came along. Oh, and he been almost two years old and you mistreated him. How dare you? I don't have no connection with Wyatt, Yana. It don't no. matter. Y'all... I'm so sorry each other. for your loss. None. So, Mr. Jackson, you're saying that despite both of these really difficult tragedies... Yes, we had ...when it two. comes to the previous two children you attempted to have together... Yes, Your Honor. ...you don't believe you have any connection? Your, <laughs> your wife says this is a miracle baby, but it is your testimony that you don't believe your wife's child is your biological son. Yes, Your Honor because we had two miscarriages before this, and me and her, what that egg mean? and sperm do not meet. So that's why I think I have doubts that's not my child. You sound real stupid. That's your so family wait. in your ear. That, yeah, on. mama's Come boy. 
You right. Quit playing. You right. Quit playing. Right. That's who you, you should have right. married. You right. Quit nah. playing. So hold on. Wait, wait. I want to understand this. I want to understand where your doubt comes from because uh-huh. this is your wife. Yeah. <laughs> So but why do you have doubts? It's a lot of things she be denying, Your Honor. Okay, so take lies. me to the first doubt. Well, I got text messages approved right here. Text messages? Yes, cheating. Jerome, let me see those, please. <laughs> Read them word for word. And these text messages you say explain your doubt. Yes, ma'am. All right. These are text messages you found between Ms. Williams, your wife, and another man. Yes, Your Honor. First message says, what's up with you, stranger? And your wife responds, laying low and making sure blank right. Read it carefully. The friend says, when can I see you again, though? I had fun kicking with you. And then you respond, I'm about to call you. Make sure you answer. And I know you had fun with me. With the wink emoji and, how can and you the deny that, Your Honor? fire sign. First of all, I'm a tomboy. I play football. He know I have male friends. We have mutual male friends together that we all chill and kick it with. So it's not like this person he does not know of or about or even hang with. So you know who this person is? I really don't. So, oh, boy. but I mean, look, and I'm on the outside looking in, but I'm just saying... What husband wants to hear their wife talking about, I know you had fun with me with a wink emoji yeah. and the fire? Hmm. Oh. Nah, you That's t- just I don't see no football emoji. Oh, no That's just dramatic. It didn't Thank say, you. I know you had fun with me when we played football. That's just dramatics. Like, that's just... Everybody's putting emojis. But other than that, I did not cheat on him, and he knows... Well, I will say this. How I often gauge things in relationships is if you saw that message between your husband and another woman and at the end she said, I'm about to call you, make sure you answer and I know you had fun with me, wink, fire, (laughs) that wouldn't go over (laughs) too well because it definitely wouldn't go over too well with me. (laughs) If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. The next one says, Miss Williams, you say I was calling you and no answer. The friend says, call again. I didn't see anything. And then you say, you playing games and I need to talk to you. Then you write, I'm pregnant. Can you answer the phone, please? Now, when you have doubts, Your Honor? Technically, if you have no one to communicate with and you're pregnant again due to the fact that you just lost two babies and you're scared and that person is not there for you mentally and emotionally, that's the whole reason why we went on break because he left me down and out as I lost my baby. (sighs) He went and moved on to another person with a family and he left me deserted, destroyed out of my mind. I could not sleep for days. I mean, I just went to someone for comfort, just someone to ease my mind. That person has been there supporting me throughout the whole situation. So, I want to understand, you're saying these text messages occurred during a time after the two miscarriages. You all separated. Yes. Yes. Mr. Lee was still sleeping with me in the time that we were broke and up. So, Mr. Lee, yes, you were. We uh, made it official in November, the end of November. Me and Mr. Jackson think, got back together. Really, y'all? I think she November. was already pregnant. Oh, no, I was not. I think don't she was even already do pregnant. that. Look at your son. Look at oh. how he's looking like. Come on, don't even oh. start that. This come is on, our man. family, on, not man. theirs. After today, when, when these results come back and they show you that you are the father of our son, you need to kick them to the curb or else your family will be gone. Oh, yeah. Try me. I'll, oh, yeah, Try I will. me. I will. If I found Try out, yeah, me. I will. But, um, Your Honor, like I was yeah. saying, I'm sorry for the uh, interruption. It's a lot of He family. always have them in in the way, oh, and they're always in his ear. And at the end of the day, he was back with me in November. We danced in the sheets unprotectedly. <laughs> and after that, he told me his job had to go to Florida. Come to find out, I bumped into his sister weeks later. She was like, oh, girl, my brother's not in no Florida. He's back with that girl. I thought you knew. So I was heartbroken. You came and played with my mind. So since I found out he was doing that, I did me a one-time thing with the person that I was messing with while we were broken up. I did. And then after that... Hold on. Hold on, Miss Williams. Hold on. Hmm. Let's not go so fast through this testimony. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So you're saying that there was another man you slept with when you all were off but trying to come back together. Mm-hmm. Unprotected sex. No, it was not. How do you know, sex. Mr. Jackson? Were you there? Me, Your Honor. No. That's the thing no. she told Your Honor, me. Your this Honor, this man, he's full of it. So it is your testimony. You believe she cheated with that man without protection and there are more men. Probably, Your Honor. No, it's not. Probably, Your Honor. All right, you you brought a witness with you. I'd like to hear from her, ma'am. Please stand. How you doing? Oh, Lord, let's go. State your name for the record. My name is Akayla. Uh, Akayla, what's your last name? Bradley. Bradley. And you are what relationship to Mr. Jackson? His cousin. You're his cousin. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Bradley, what do you know? I see her creeping with my own eyes. Thank you. Girl. He's at work. Girl. She's... Girl. When she was staying in the apartments, he's at work, she's out with other people. All they'll the talk for outside the car for a minute. Then they'll get in the car like 30, 40 minutes. When I'm trying to figure out what is you out there for. First if of all, I don't work. play with children stay in the child's place. You need to show up. Wait, 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 wait. Don't play with wait. children. Wait, Miss Bradley. Truth. Family knows better. Children, man. It's the truth. You got to go sit down somewhere. Let's get some you order. Yes, Let's you get are. some order. Let's get some order. I need... I need you to speak one at a time so I can get the story. You are testifying, Ms. Bradley. You have seen Ms. Williams with your own eyes. You say creeping. So you mean entertaining other men? Yes, like, what is you outside 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night in somebody's car for? If Lee at work, it's not his car. So what is you out there for? Thank you. So, I have family members that's coming from out of state. Why not from bring them New in Orleans? Y'all are from Georgia. So, therefore, if my family want to roll up on me... Why not bring them in the house? Of day, they can, because I pay those bills. Why not bring them inside the house? Thank Why you. not send inside the car? Anything. And it don't even be boys half the time. Sure. They so just don't want to deal with y'all. So, what they... do you see specifically? They'll mm-hmm. be out in the car talking, then they get in the car. What are y'all in the car for 30, 40 minutes? If that's your family, bring them inside. Why is y'all inside the car? I don't necessarily have to do anything. My family don't that... like your family, period. What? She don't have we that. Don't I don't like have y'all, to. so oh, why y'all in Y'all don't house? have to. We don't want to be y'all around don't have y'all, to. period. Mm-hmm. That's fine. They ready to pay for a divorce, sweetheart. That's fine. What we'll... you mean? That's fine. That's fine. We don't That's play fine. with children. I got six kids mm-hmm. and a dog. If so, Miss Bradley, with hold on. Hold on, Miss Williams. Hold on. <laughs> so, Miss Bradley, cool. you say you That's saw fine. her in a car. Okay, that that is not enough. Have you ever... Heard, seen anything else? If you know I'm in a relationship, why try to put me on with somebody else? Because she called, she was like, I'm finna come to your house, I'm finna pick you up. I said, okay, cool. I come outside, you jump in the back seat, but you, and you tell me to jump in the front seat, so you know I'm in a whole relationship. Because she asked me to hook her up with one of my friends. That's and a I lie. Did. Girl, stop. Yes, because why would you try to hook me up with somebody knowing I'm in a relationship? Okay, you, you do the same ridiculous. thing, you try to do it to me. Why would I do dirt with you? You're his cousin, you live in my house, you sound stupid. I sound All right. stupid. Like Thank you, Miss Bradley. Lord. You can have a seat. Thank you, because she you need so. more than that. <laughs> and you do, too. Hey, okay. Thank you. And you do, too. Yes. So, at the end of the day, the stakes are high here because this baby's almost two years old. Mm-hmm. This is a time when children are establishing very real bonds with their parents, mm-hmm. beginning to look to their fathers, say dada and mama, and begin to talk. And your wife has testified that you treat this baby differently. Yeah, a little bit. And you admit to that? Yes. So the stakes are high here? Yes. For this marriage and for Wyatt's sake? Yes. Yes. Why do you have tears in your eyes, Ms. Williams? Mm -hmm. Because it's like, we just recently had a baby almost uh, 11 months ago. She's light as day. She she has gold hair, just like he do. He don't deny her. How are you going to deny your son? His ears stick out like him. He's got a big head. Like, I have elf ears. Uh, he has head. a big head. His mama has a big head. Baby, take this head. wig off. Look. My head is big. Come on. Man. What you mean? Come he got on, the look. same kind of hair but you let's, have. Listen, listen. <sighs> We're here discussing what's on the line as it relates to Wyatt. My son mm-hmm. is going to be broken. My son is not going to have a father figure in his life. My son is not going to know who his father really is if he don't step up because Lee Jackson is his father. Mr. Lee does nothing but listen to his family all day. With this other man, have you ever told this other man about Wyatt, that you were pregnant? Hmm. Yes, that's... Yes, I confided in my friend. Yes, I did. So you did tell him you were pregnant? Yes, I did. This friend you did sleep with. There, it was somebody else. Is this a different person 
No. From the one that you slept with during the on and off no, breakup? No, this is the same person. The same person. This is not no different person. I don't be like him and hop. Yeah, hear, hear that. Yeah. So, no, no, no. So what I'm saying is, is that when you had the off and on thing and you slept with this man one time when you confided in him and when you were... This thing continued on is the point. Yeah. Like no, you, it didn't, it did the not conversations continue. She continued. kept denying it. it. I kept asking continue. her, but she no, kept man, denying it. It did not deny for what? We're gonna find out today. It sure will, and then that's when you need to pay a couple of bills. I Hello. Ain't mad. All right. You know what? It's time for the results. Thank Jerome, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Williams versus Jackson, when it comes to 23-month-old Wyatt Jackson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson, you are the father. <laughs> Thank you. So that same energy y'all got Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pack it up, little girl. I apologize. Y'all can pack that's, it up. That's your little boy. Be, I know. Pack it up. That's my baby. I'm gonna make it up. I'm gonna be the best father I can be. The best father I can be. It's time. He's almost two. He's been missing you. And he's been missing the opportunity for 23 months to say daddy. Yeah. To learn the word and to express that. There's more to it than just the phonetics. And you've admitted that you've treated this child. Yes, but now I know I'm gonna treat him way better because it's my son. <laughs> Be a man. Step up to the plate. 